The Virtual State Fair is the home of e-extension in the online world of Second Life. Avatars come to the fair for its rides, games, and even line dancing. And while they are there, can learn a little bit about what Cooperative Extension has to offer. Immersive environments located in and around the fairgrounds offer visitors an opportunity for a new kind of experiential learning. Teachers can bring their classroom students to Second Life for a virtual field trip. Guest lecturers can reach a worldwide audience. And individuals can explore the creative exhibits that offer views not possible in real life. E-Extension can help educators in your state learn to use Second Life to enhance their programming. Some land-grant universities are already working in Second Life, learning how to use social virtual worlds for purposes such as collaboration, role play, and visualization. At the University of Idaho, family and consumer science educators are leading the way by developing interactive activities about healthy lifestyle and financial management. Our two simulations allow users to learn personal finance and nutrition without real-world consequences and were designed for use in public schools and for all users with a Second Life account. Courses in accounting, clothing textiles and design, and virtual technology and design are regularly taught in Second Life, with history and anthropology programs taking advantage of role-playing and distance connectivity. Through Second Life, the University of Idaho can now reach more people to deliver educational content in synchronous and real-time immersive environments, as well as enabling collaboration between Extension and campus-based faculty. Please come and visit us at Idahonium. Second Life is just one way that eExtension offers more mind reach. These virtual environments, once created, are free to the public and available to any educator to use as a teaching tool. Learning to apply this emerging technology today will prepare Cooperative Extension to meet the needs of the learners of tomorrow.